So for this question number five, we're looking for surface area and we're looking for volume. So let's do surface area first. Now we have all sorts of pieces. If you want to draw a net, you can. The net, you know, the net will be fairly complicated with all these different pieces. You can draw that; it's no problem. Um, do you need to? Well, I think you could probably. You might be able to keep track of everything um, up, you know, without drawing a net. So the easiest would probably be let's do this side, okay? So that's going to be what 25 by 14, right? So 25 times 14. Now, would there be a front side and a back side for that one? There would, right? Because it, it should be the same on the front and the back. Okay, so we got we got rid of that one. That's good. The front and the back. What about the two ends? What about this end here? Okay. So let's do let's do like this. Let's do plus 11 times 14. Are you good with that? Five. Times two. Okay, because there's this side and the back, what would be the back side there, right? All right. Okay, so what about, um, what about this, this little top part here and this one over here? Couldn't you just keep it as, couldn't you just find the volume of the bottom box? We're not doing volume here. Oh, We're just doing surface area. We're doing surface area, so we need to add this up. Yeah, volume's gonna be a bit different. So can we find out what this length is here? We know this is 11, right? Because it's the same as this bottom. What's this here? They say this is 11 right here. And so we got 25 minus 11 is what? 14. And that 14 is split into two pieces. So guess what? We have 7 and 7 there. We have 7 plus 11 plus 7 should be 25. So we've got 7 times 11 times 2. That's for this little top piece and this little top piece, the shoulders there, right? <coughs> okay, moving along pretty good here. This is 11 by 16, this one on the front, right? And this is actually 11 by 16 as well on the side. And then the back and the other back side is, they're all the same, aren't they? So guess what? We have um, 11. Whoops. Let's do this in black. 11 times 16 times 4. Yeah, all those sides. They're all the, they're all the same. Okay, four sides there. Following me? Okay. So up to this point, it's pretty straightforward. Now we need to find the surface area of the roof here. If this was a building, that'd be like the roof. Okay. So. We established earlier that the 9 was the height. Okay, it looks a little confusing there, but the 9 is the height. So I have to find what this slant height is. Okay, you see that? And actually, well, I guess because this is, this is 11 and this is also 11, so we're just going to have one. This is going to be the same all the way around. So let's figure that out here. Let's see. We've got 9 here. We don't know what this one is. What's this right here? What's the bottom piece there? That's going to be half of what? Oh. Half of 11, which is 5.5. Very good. So I'm going to do 5.5 squared plus 9 squared equals, and let's call this the slant height, S squared. Okay. So maybe some of you have done that already, but we do need to find that little, okay, I'll quit out of there for you. Okay, so 5.5 squared plus 9 squared is this, and we need to now get S by itself, so let's take the square root of this. The square root of the answer, 10.55. You guys okay with that? Okay, so that's going to be good, 10.55 centimeters. All right, so... Um, now we can calculate what these triangles are. And for the surface area, that's going to be that's going to be kind of it, right? So we can calculate what this triangle is. One half base times the height, and 10.5 is the height. So plus, and there's going to be four of them. So one half the base times the height times four. 
So I think that's everything, isn't it? Oh, what about what about the bottom? We didn't do the bottom, did we? 25, I think we need to do the bottom as well. This is not a building sitting on the ground, so we're going to need to do the bottom, which is plus um, 25 times 11, it looks like, right? Okay, so we haven't done the bottom yet, so we have to do the bottom. Okay, everybody okay? That's a 2. Okay, so let's add that up. Okay, so when we add up all of those, we should get about this, 273 square centimeters for the surface area. Yeah, that, sounds, that sounds right, depending on what, how you round it. Could be 1.5, so that could be 2. All right. Now, volume is the other half, right? The other half of this question is volume. So for volume, it's actually, I think, volume is probably going to be a little bit easier. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise some stuff around here first. We don't need some of this stuff. Clean up, excuse me, clean up our diagram a little bit. Okay, so for the volume here now, the volume of the bottom, so we've got volume one, volume two, and volume three. It's actually going to be quite a bit shorter. So volume one is going to be 25 times 11 times 14, right? That's going to give us the volume of this whole thing, volume one. So we're going to add to that volume 2, which is again going to be length times width times height because it's a prism. So 11 times 11 times 16. Does that make sense? Volume's a little bit easier, isn't it? Now, when we get to a pyramid, do you remember how a pyramid goes? And honestly, looking at your um, reviews and stuff here, looking at this assignment, um, you guys, I don't know if you guys had your formulas written down. You didn't use the right formulas for a lot of the questions. Okay, so you have to get that straight for the test. You will have a cue card. You should write this stuff down. Okay, so what's the volume of a uh, pyramid? Length times width times height. Yeah, it's length times width times height divided by three. So it's the it's the equivalent to the volume of the corresponding prism divided by three, so it's a third of that. So this one's going to be length times width times height all over three. Okay, and that's it, and we add those up, and let's see what we get. All right, so when you uh, add up all of those volumes right here, you should get about 6,149. Your units should be cubic centimeters, centimeters to the power of three. Okay, so that's a big question. That's a big question, um, but you'll have a question like that in your test. You'll have to do. So write it out just like I did. Um, show all your work. Make sure you have your units in there. If there's two parts, then circle the answers to both parts.